Hi everyone, welcome to the summary statistics video. So a quick way to get summary statistics um, from the data. Again, make sure you have the data analysis tool pack installed. If you haven't done that, you please need to go back and watch that because you won't be able to do that. So that. So the first thing we need to do is figure out like what we want. So in each of these tabs for the videos, I sort of have an objective and I just kind of made these up. Uh, but it says, let's get the summary statistics for tuition and fees for 2013 to 14 and the percent of undergraduate enrollment that are women. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the clean data and I'm going to try and find these two variables. Um, and so notice that if you're down here and moving along, there's a lot going on and, and it, it's sort of a pain to scroll. So I use the search feature a lot. So I'll click in this top row and so it highlights and then I'll do control or command F. You could also just go to the top and let's just start with try and let's find tuition and it'll go over and it looks like I'm in the right spot now and so I'll just close that and here's 2010 to 11, 11, 12, 13. So I want this column. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to copy this, so control C. So I clicked on the whole column header, control C to copy. You can also right click and copy if you want. I like the keyboard shortcuts. And then I'll go ahead and post this here. Um, and then I could go ahead and get these summary statistics, but if I know I, I want multiple things, I can do them at the same time. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so now let's go find the percent of undergraduate enrollment that are women. So again, I'll go back to the clean data. Um, I might do control F and then uh, let's just search for women and see if that takes us. And that takes us right to where we want to go. It finds women in there. Um, so percent of uh, total enrollment that are women, so control C. And again, if you haven't reviewed this data, it's university data from a bunch of different schools um, in a bunch of different states. So I've copied that. Um, I'll put it right here. And now we can go and get the summary statistics. So what we do is, again, you have to make sure you have on the data tab, go to data analysis. And then we're going to find, it's odd, so it's called descriptive statistics. And it might be summary statistics on a Mac, I honestly can't remember. And then later we're going to check summary statistics. So what you do is do OK. And then saying, OK, like, first, tell me where your data is. Well, our data is in these two columns. There's two ways you could do this. You could just select across and drag both of these. I know um, Excel sometimes has issues with blanks, and, like at the bottom. So what you might want to do, and you can just see which works. Um, again, make sure you start at the headers. This will be important. So I'll drag across, and I'll do Control Shift and Down, um, which leads us to a blank here. And so we're going to have to keep hitting Control or Command Shift Down if you're on a Mac. Um, it looks like this is going to take a long time, so I might, I'm might i going to change course and again just select from here. It's, it's because of the blanks that we don't have, um, but you can keep doing that if you want. And so we had labels in the first row. We're going to click that, and then you don't need to fill out these two options if you don't want. So it, it's set to do a new worksheet, but we already have a lot going on with all these worksheets. So I'm going to pick an output range, and it's just saying, like, where do you want the results from this quote unquote test. So I click on the little box here. You don't actually have to click and I'll go up and let's just put them um, maybe E2. Uh, and it's up to you. You can put them wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. And we'll hit enter. And then the last thing we have to do is um, I'm just going to check this box that says summary statistics. I don't know why I have to check that since this is a descriptive statistics um, thing. That should sort of be automatic. Um, but we have to. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then if you hit OK, and it's going to think for a little bit. We have a lot of data. Um, so give it just a second. All right, and you should see this pop up. And this looks kind of ugly. A lot of it's because it, it's not um, like formatted very well. So to do this, first I'm just going to select across all this. Let's move it a little bit. So I'm going to copy this and maybe let's put it here. It uh, might make life a little bit easier. Um, it doesn't because the titles are so big. So First thing I want to do is let's select these two columns and then make them fit. So if I double click, it'll make them fit. Oh, I didn't do it for the second one. Oh yeah, and so I did that one and now let's do these two columns and we'll double click. And so now we can see the summary statistics. I don't like that they put them next to one another. So a quick tip is you can insert a, a column. So if you click here and then right click or if you're working on a mouse pad, a two finger click. And if you should do insert, It'll insert a column to the left. And so now I have the summary statistics for tuition and fees. On average, tuition and fees were $20,727. Um, had a standard error of $321. Uh, the median, so it was $20,060. So it gives you all this stuff. Um, standard deviation. Um, if you're in stats, you'll use a lot of this. If, if not, I mean, it might not matter. But 
Um, the minimum and the maximum are useful. The count, so it looks like we had data for tuition fees for around 1,500 schools. Um, same thing, so here for percent of enrollment that are women, it looks like around 58% on average um, was our, our, our female enrollment. Um, we had some schools that were zero, some schools that were 100, and we had actually a little bit more data on these schools. Um, and so that's a quick way, again, you could do these individually. You could put them on new sheets. Um, you can select as many variables as you want. We just did two. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, and, yeah, have a good day.